Hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about this smart air box. It's a air quality sensor. You can buy them online. They provide information on CO2 parts per million, uh, humidity and temperature and things like formaldehyde, it's a VOH, uh, parts per million. And the way this thing works is, there's a five volt uh, plug right there. Here's your cable. This one you have to provide the uh, five volt charger, like for a phone. They typically come from China. Let's see. And you use the Tuya app, so the Smart Life or Tuya app. If any of you, uh, if you're not familiar with the Tuya app, it's the one that you can use with a lot of the Wi-Fi smart power switches. And this integrates into the Tuya app, and we'll go over that in a minute. But I guess here's the USB cable, maybe a reset tool. Yeah, reset buttons right there right beside the power input but I've used these things before they actually do pretty good I'm not sure exactly how accurate it is because I don't really have any way to measure against it but I know typically I've seen CO2 levels in the, about the 370 parts per million I know we hear a lot about CO2 levels today and they say it's in the 400 range but most of the measurements I've seen on these things at least around here in my house have been around 370 parts per million, maybe a little bit lower. You would think that here in the house it would be higher, but anyway, let me uh, hook this thing up and we'll go over features on the app. Okay, when you go to install the sensor, you have to hit Add Device. This is in the Smart Life app. And then you come over here to Sensors, and then you just simply choose sensor Wi-Fi because it's a Wi-Fi sensor. It's not a Zigbee sensor. So once you do that, you sh it should find it on your network and install it. Let's go back and look at the sensor itself. I, I named it formaldehyde detector because that's what it does. The CH2O value is the formaldehyde detector. And here's the interface to the sensor and you can see the different values. For, for an example, you can see the temperature, humidity, the VOC level, the CO2 level, the CH20 value. For an example, you can click on it right here and you can see the we're on the daily. So you can go back and look at the history. So here's the value of the formaldehyde CH2O over the past the previous day. And I have seen this go like 0.02 0.01 value. It flips back and forth. It's probably when the AC or something's kicking off and on. Uh, current temperature. Go back a day. Go back. You can see like on a monthly level too. You can do that with every one of these. So here's the current humidity. Let's go back. Hit, hit the monthly. And v, VOC level. Same thing. Let's look at CO2. CO2 level on the daily, we can go back a day, you can see 363, 365, yeah typically in here in this room it's going between 363 to 365 to maybe 368 parts per million, let's look on the monthly, yeah there's a big dip right there. Two sixty four. Maybe that's when the AC kicked on or something. I don't know, but um, I haven't seen it up in the four hundred range. It's kind of curious, but anyway, the sensor is pretty neat. Um, once you install this in your Smart Life app, you can do the scenes. You can create your scene. For an example, if you wanted to, you could say if the temperature or the 
uh, formaldehyde level got too high to turn on a light or if the temperature or if the let's say the humidity got too high to turn on a dehumidifier things like that so the scenes work the same with this air quality sensor as it does with any other sensor in the Tuya or Smart Life app. But anyway, I hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions or comments, post it below. I'll put a link to one of these uh, sensors in the description. I know they typically go for about 20 to 20 something dollars. I think they're all coming from China, but anyway, we'll talk to y'all later. I hope you found this video helpful. Please remember to give it a thumbs up. Thank you. And remember, don't be destructive. Fix, repair, create. Make the world better.